In television appearances Monday, former Vice President Joe Biden said he would not have taken Hillary Clinton's place as the Democratic Party's 2016 presidential nominee even if he had been given the chance. Donna Brazil, the former chairwoman of the Democratic National Committee, claimed in a new memoir that she considered initiating a process to swap Clinton out for Biden last year after Clinton fainted at a September 11th memorial event. On NBC's Today Show Monday, Biden told host Matt Lauer that Brazil's book was the first time he or any of his staff heard of such a possibility. I give you my word, Biden said. I would never have taken it. I was for Hillary. I did 83 campaign events for Hillary. I think I can say I did more events and worked harder for Hillary, as hard for Hillary, as anyone else. She would have been a first-rate president. Biden noted he had already decided, long before last fall, that he was not prepared to run for president. His oldest son, Beau Biden, D of brain cancer in May 2015, and the former vice president repeatedly said last year that he knew he wouldn't be able to withstand the pressures of a campaign while grieving. I was not ready in terms of my family, Biden told Lauer. So, no, I would never have done that. Biden certainly had like a would-be candidate on today as he discussed the changes he felt the Democratic Party needed to make to be successful, and refused to rule out the possibility of running in 2020. He fielded questions from ONS members about gun violence, President Trump's performance and whether voters would be put off by Biden's age in a presidential race. Biden, 74, would be 77 if he decided to run for president in 2020. Look, I think people have a right to ask your age, your health. I think if anyone were to run for president, you should why disclose your medical records, he said. Right now, as my mother would say, knock on wood, I'm healthy. I'm in pretty good shape. But, you know, that's a way off. If we run, I think it's a legitimate issue for people to raise. In an interview on NBC's Megyn Kelly today, host Kelly laid out the challenges Biden would face if he did enter the 2020 race. The critics will say you are too old, you are going to be 77 in 2020, you wouldn't have any new ideas, you have already run twice and lost, she said. You would have to promise it would be one term only and, the blue-collar rust belters, you would need to get elected already love Donald Trump. Biden did and t miss a beat, they love me more, he told Kelly to wants laughter. But they are right about all the first parts, correct. I am not sure I can overcome the front end, but I understand the rust belt. Donald Trump has no notion of what those people are going through. When Kelly asked him whether he was getting any closer to deciding, however, Biden said no. If the Lord came down and sat here and said, look, the nomination is yours if you accept it now, I would say, no, not now, he told Kelly. Because I'm not ready. There's so much more to do in terms of finishing this book, finishing the ability to try to win back the House of Representatives. And then we'll see. He added, I've become a great respecter of fate. It's not being blunt, I think I'm qualified to be president, but there's a lot of really talented people out there in the Democratic Party. As the Washington Post's Philip Rucker reported, Brazil would not have had the power to unilaterally replace Clinton with Biden. Nevertheless, the claims Brazil made in her new book, Hacks the Inside Story of the Break-Ins and Breakdowns that Put Donald Trump in the White House, prompted a wave of outraged responses from former Clinton campaign officials who said they do not recognize the campaign she portrays in the book. We were shocked to learn the news that Donna Brazil actively considered overturning the will of the Democratic voters by attempting to replace Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine as the Democratic presidential and vice presidential nominees, read an open letter signed by more than 100 former campaign aides. It is particularly troubling and puzzling that she would seemingly buy into false Russian-fueled propaganda, spread by both the Russians and our opponent, about our candidate's health. Brazil's book caught the attention of Trump, who used it to launch a string of tweets accusing crooked Hillary the Dems of stealing the primary election. Days later, Brazil walked back her claim that the primary was rigged, saying Trump had misquoted her. Read more SNL hits the nail on the head the DNC is old and out of touch the story behind the viral photo of Danica Rome falling to her knees on election night Joe Biden still wants to be president. Can his family endure one last campaign? Trump shares gif of himself striking Hillary Clinton in the back with a golf ball. The abridged history of Twitter's 11 minutes without it real Donald Trump.